this is a tutorial for Dex Science at 5.2. Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to build an improvised model of the human respiratory system. We are going to be using materials from the compartment B5.3.1.1 from our science set. So let's go ahead and take the materials we need from that compartment. And then put our science set. In order to build this model of the human respiratory system, you're going to need a model of the trachea. You're going to need some silicone tubes. You're going to need some balloons to represent the lungs. And we are going to also need some clay dough to seal off our setup. Okay. Another thing we are going to need in order to build this setup is an empty bottle. You need an empty plastic bottle that is relatively strong because you're going to be stretching some elastic balloon over it. So you need an empty bottle that is relatively strong. So with these materials, we are going to build a model of the human respiratory system. So we're going to build the internal model first. We're going to need this part here, which is going to represent our um, trachea. Try not to use try not to use a sharp object to remove this tape because you might end up puncturing balloons. So we have some balloons here. We're going to need three balloons. As you can see, all the balloons are different colors. I'm going to choose these two colors plus this blue one. Now, once you have your three balloons, and then there's a rubber band on top of it. So ensure that that rubber band stays. You push it away a little bit, and then you pull the balloon over the part like this. Done with this, you can also bring this back onto itself like this. When you're done with everything, you bring the rubber band back. In order to create a seal. same thing for this side. So I'm going to push this away. I'm going to take my balloon. Okay. So we end up with something that looks like this. Oh, this rubber band just came off. Let's try and get it back. Going to end up with something that looks like this. With your two balloons. The next thing you want to do is to get your silicone tube. Carefully remove.
have your model here. So this part will represent parts of the trachea and then the bronchi, which separates into the lungs. Okay, so we're going to add this tube in here. So there's, a, there's a hole on top here. We're going to squeeze this tube in there, nice and tight. So you have something that looks like this. A good way to test to make sure your setup is good is to blow a bit of air through here. Now that we have this, the next thing we're going to do is to create the cavity that our setup is going to sit in. And that's when we need the bottle. We are going to measure approximately 17 centimeters, about 17 centimeters from the top of the bottle. It's always important to make sure for such a bottle you cut in these ridges and not on you cut in the ridge here. So that's to maintain the strength of the bottom. You cut in the ridge here. So let's go ahead and cut it. Great. So we have our cavity here. So this is what we're going to be using too. Just to try and then place our setup in here. So from here, we're going to try and place our setup to here. So we're going to end up with something that looks like this. We have the cavity and the setup that is inside of it. What we're going to do next is to try and seal the top of this so that we also hold our lung setup in place whilst also sealing the top and preventing air from escaping. To do that, you're going to need our play doh. I'm going to knead it a little bit to make sure it's nice and soft. Once you're done, it's recommended that you make it into a bit of a cylinder. And then try and wrap that around the silicone tube. And then gently push everything into the bottle. To create a nice seal. And pull this up. It's important that you seal it on the inside as well. Get your hand in there and push it further. So you create a nice seal. Try and ensure that your trachea is centered as much as possible to make for a more.
presentable model. So now that we have our setup here, the next thing we need to do is to create the diaphragm which will cover the base of our setup. So we're going to take another balloon. Let's make sure that that balloon doesn't have any punctures on it. And we are going to cut just below the joint. You don't cut exactly on the joint, just slightly below the joint. We're going to go ahead and cut that slightly below the joint. So you end up with something that looks like this. So you can stretch it. Now you're going to try and stretch that over here. Now this part may be a little bit tricky. Make sure your balloons are flat before you cover your base with your balloon. So let's try and do this. This might be a little tricky and you might need another person to help you when you're doing it at first. So when you are done, so you end up with something that looks like this. And so the air comes in through here when you breathe, through the trachea, breaks out into the bronchi, and into the two lungs. Very simple setup. You have the diaphragm here, and we are now going to demonstrate what happens when we breathe in and breathe out. When you breathe in, your diaphragm expands. Your diaphragm expands, air will fill the lungs, and when you breathe out, air leaves the lungs when your diaphragm contracts. So, diaphragm expands, Diaphragm expands and contracts. Expands and contracts. As you can see, the lungs fill up with air and then air leaves it. Have it a really beautiful setup demonstrating how the human respiratory system works you know the parts you have your diaphragm you have the two lungs you have the trachea the bronchi all represented nicely here and we know what happens when we inhale and exhale when the diaphragm expands and contracts respectively so there you have it, a beautiful setup illustrating how the human respiratory system functions. What happens when we exhale and what happens when we inhale. As always, this has been an exciting activity made possible by the DEXT science set. See you in the next video.